it should be a good day. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Feels weird to have these uh these keys in my hand. I have a lot of explaining to do. I did a lot of work without recording it, but I really, 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 really want to get this thing started. And uh, nothing was gonna stop me the last uh, couple days from just going in. I didn't record it, but it was just things that I've told you I was going to be doing, like putting on the intercooler, putting on all the new couplers, uh, hooking up the blow -off valve. Yeah, so the engine looks a little different from the last video. I'm gonna go over everything I've done. Um, depending on the title of this video, I think we're starting it today. Um, don't skip ahead. Do not skip ahead. I know this video is going to do really well. I just want everyone to really enjoy every last minute of it. Um, I wasn't even going to be recording right now. I was going to wait till my boy Tommy gets here, but I'm really just looking everything over, making sure everything's hooked up. And then I think we're going to turn key. Um, right now, I'm actually going to turn it on, see if the fuel pump runs, see if my fans turn on. I connected my. Um, the two test connectors um, for my access port. I'm gonna try to load up my base map right now. Oh, I'm so nervous, I don't know. I mean like, when I turn the key right now, we should start hearing things. The fan should turn on, the fuel pump should prime. She should be coming alive. In the first like two minutes of this video, or a minute, I don't even know how long I've been recording, but first minute, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and go for it. But right now, I'm gonna show you what I've done over the past couple days. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen all this stuff already. I'll be doing a bunch of sneak peek videos, but as you can see, intercooler is on. I got the throttle body connector there. I got the coupler for the turbo down there, everything tightened down. I got the map sensor good. I got the throttle body over here all hooked up. Alternator is finally in. Both of my belts are on. Intercooler is hooked up. Every line is hooked up. Power steering is hooked up. Finally got this banjo bolt to fit. I got the intake hooked up. I got the math hooked up. Boost control solenoid stuff I still got to deal with, kind of. Um, the battery is finally in. I got it hooked up to a charge that I'm about to plug in right now before I start loading up my base mat. Um, I don't have the downpipe on yet. I'm waiting for Tommy to come through. Uh, yes, these two tabs don't line up. I'm going to put a bolt through there, so don't say anything. Thank you. And then I uh, got this air oil separator all lined up. Like I said, the downpipe is just right there will be connected shortly, but uh, obviously I don't need a connector right now because I won't be turning it on just yet. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up this battery charger. I'm gonna hop in the car, turn key, and uh, see what happens. This feels so weird getting into my car knowing I'm about to turn the key. Ooh, okay, here we go. <sighs> oh my god, I'm so scared. I am so scared. Like, keys are right here. They are right here. So, let me just go over a couple of things right now. I siphoned, I siphoned out all the bad gas last night. I got fresh 91 in there, filled up all my, uh, my gear oil, topped off perfect level, just filled up my oil this morning, perfectly full. Um, I put in the clutch a couple times to see how she feels. Engagement feels really good. Shifted through the gears. She goes into all gears, all good to go. No air in the system that I could see. I don't have coolant in yet uh, because I'm going to do that when I'm actually going to start the car because I'm not starting the car right now. Do not skip ahead. I don't, everyone already skipped ahead because they just want to see if it started. But you better not skip ahead. Just bet the suspense build throughout the video. That will be much funner, be a much more entertaining video. So, oh my God. I didn't even realize there's lights on right now. Like, hold, hold up. Check this out. Something. Do we have some lights on? We have uh, some lights on. All right, well, let's see if the fuel pump primes. I'm going to close this, even though it's going to be really hot. Making sure we can hear everything. Oh, my God. I'm, like, shaking. This is super sketchy. Okay. Fuel pump priming. Oh my god. You hear that? Fuel pump. This is on. Oh my god, she's coming alive. Once everything shuts off, then I'll turn her off. I don't know what's going on. 
Uh, let's go see if it's leaking anywhere. I don't know. Let's see if my fuel lines are good. I'm really scared. There's all my fuel connections. Nothing seems to be leaking. Sketchy. Moment of truth. Everything down here looks good and clear. My fuel lines are seem to be good. They're not leaking anywhere because I disconnected all these guys. Uh, I've never actually done that test mode thing where you connect the two uh, green connectors underneath. And it just runs the fuel pump and it turns on the fan, tests everything. Everything seemed to be working normal. Um, yeah. I'm freaking out right now. I don't know what's going on. My fuel gauge is reading correctly. It was on a quarter tank and then I drained the whole thing and then I filled it up with about half a tank uh, last night, so that's a good sign. All right, I don't know what I did, but I finally got my access port to start working. I just unplugged and plugged back in the OBD2 and now it's working, so I'm gonna see if I can... Can this shut up? How does this... We're live. Okay, we are live. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through these options. Kind of figure out what's going on. Okay, select access port or go forward to cancel. Do not. Okay, continue. Install the access port to your vehicle. Yes. Verify the ignition switch is on. Ignition switch on. Please confirm that your vehicle matches the identifications. 2006 WX manual. Yes. Please wait while the access port is going to ECU. Anti-theft map. There it is. There's my map. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. I don't even know what I'm doing. My car is still yelling at me. It doesn't. It doesn't like me right now. I'm sorry. I took your heart out, but she's back in. I'm freaking out right now. Oh my god. I don't know why it's all hitting me now. Like the past like week, I was like, oh, like I'm gonna start it this weekend. Like. Kind of scared. Like, let's go, boys. Like, let. I'm gonna freak. I'm gonna throw up. I might throw up. I don't know. Hopefully, this video does really well. I really hope this video does well. I want everyone to see all the hard work come in hot. So let's go ahead and click my limp map 91 tune, and let's load it up. The battery charger is recommended. Yes, I have it on. Please connect the green test mode connectors. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go down there, connect the green test mode connectors, and then I'll continue. All right, just connected. Now it says, please wait while the access port saves the factory ECU data. Here we go, boys. While that's loading up, I'll show you the, the two test connectors that I had to connect down there. See if you could see it. Can you see this guy there? There's the two connections. Just look for the only green ones. They won't be connected, or at least they absolutely shouldn't be. I don't know what your car, I don't think will work if they stay connected, but there's those guys. That beeping is really annoying. I gotta figure out how to delete that. Now we're gonna wait till it says, access port saves the factory ECU data, and then we'll go ahead and move on. Just posted another little update on my Instagram. This freaking, seriously, this beeping is too much. It's so hot, that's why I have a tank top on. Shut up. Is it the seatbelt? Is that why you're tripping? What's going on? I'll get locked in. Okay, now it's shut up. Do not turn, do not turn off vehicle or unplug access port. Please wait while the access port flashes the ECU. So now it is loading up. First it was just talking to the ECU saying it was good. And now it's loading up my limp map uh, that I got from my tuner. And we're on 10%. Do I look ridiculous right now? I should probably change. It is so hot. And I'm actually strapped. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I have a seatbelt on. I gotta figure out that squeaking. I did not like that. I'm so freaking AC, ACDC, ADD. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, what are you guys feeling right now? I swear to God, if you guys skipped ahead, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna feel disrespected. Everyone already skipped ahead. It's all right. We'll be kicking it here. The people that are kicking it here, not skipping ahead. You guys are savages. We're on 30%. percent. I'm actually gonna wait it out. This is perfect. So this little oil light I've never seen right there. Um, right 
there. So what I'm going to do to prime the oil system, make sure uh, all the oil has gone through all the oil galleys and all the passageways, um, that light should extinguish before I start the car. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to disable fuel and, or ignition, either one, and then uh, I'm going to crank the car over maybe like five or six times until that light extinguishes. Once it does, then we're going to be ready to go. I'm going to start this thing up, go through my whole procedure of breaking in my camshaft, change the oil after the whole break in cam thing. And then I'm going to be leaving that driveway and it's going to be really weird. Uh, yeah. Shout out to the boys. Shout out to the boys. This is the worst things to do on cars. Getting under dash. It's literally the worst. Go ahead and disconnect those guys. Now we'll see what it says. Installation successful. Please turn ignition key to the off position for at least 15 seconds before starting. Now that it is all loaded up, she seems to have calmed down. Thank you. Wow. So remember to connect your access manager for new features and updates. Ooh, it's my very first time you guys are witnessing it, me ever going through here. So we got troubleshooting performance. I can measure the acceleration performance of the vehicle. Got different gauges I could set up, uh, set up your access port, and tune your vehicle adjustments and maps, and you can uninstall. So let's go ahead and go through a couple things. I've never done this, so let's see what my gauges are at. Gauge one, gauge two, three, four, five, six. So it looks like you'd have six different adjustments as far as uh, what you want. So let's just do gauge one. And I could set it up. So it says AF correction. Alrighty. Alright, so now I get what this is saying. So you could change the gauge layout. I am so sorry for this beeping, but is it the door? Is that why it's driven? Maybe that's why. So it looks like you can actually change uh, either one, two, three, four, five, or six. Uh, you can have six small gauges. You can have one small and, or one small digital gauge with bar gauge and then four small digital gauges gives you a bunch of different layouts i think i'm gonna go for maybe like the i don't know i'm gonna go ahead and try to set this thing up and see where i get if you guys didn't know i'm absolutely obsessed when it comes to uh like little meticulous adjustments and making everything like super perfect and also um my end goal dream would be to know how to tune my own car um I get a little nerded out and I've actually gotten like multiple books that I've been reading of like how to actually tune a car. It's like all I've ever wanted to do since I was like 15 when I first got into cars. I want to be that guy with a laptop tuning like super gnarly cars like twin turbo Lambos and just like fully built Subarus. Just like things of that nature. Just things that are just out of this world. And I just want to be the guy that's going to make the little fine mind adjustments to just make things perfect. And I know eventually I will get there um, once I maybe read enough books. I don't know. And then of course, sharing my knowledge on my YouTube would just be like the best. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep messing with this guy. Um, I seriously like kinda wanna take a shower, it's like kinda hot. I gotta wait till my boy comes over here. Um, Tommy's gonna come over after work. Um, and why is because I need someone on the outside of the car that when I turn on the car, one, to record, and two, uh, just to make sure nothing is leaking, things look okay, so he's gonna come over here and help me out, and then of course my dad wants to be here, he said if I start it without him, he'll be really upset, so my dad's gonna come out here, check out the first start, and uh, we'll go from there. Whew. Let's go boys, I'll be back in a bit, I'm gonna hit a little workout, I'll see you guys in a second. And I'm back from my run, actually it's been about four hours since I have uh, been recording, Tommy came over, we are currently on our way to go get some distilled water. I did another few things, or Tommy and I did another few things that I did not record. I, I'm awful, I'm just gonna put that out there, I'm awful. Every time I get super serious, I don't wanna record because I just wanna make sure everything goes really smooth. But now we're gonna get some distilled water, we're gonna come back, then we're gonna start filling up the coolant stiff. I don't wanna die. And I think we're starting it, right? I don't know. So excited. I, I'm not. I'm just excited for the burrito after wow. we're done. Wow, wow. I've had like six burritos this past week, and I love it. Chinese food. Chinese food? We'll take the Subaru to get Chinese food? Yeah. Oh my god. 
So we got some distilled water. I asked if they had like Voss distilled water, but they don't. So then I was going for Perrier. I wanted to put champagne in it. Then we were gonna put champagne in the Subaru. We could have put like some rose, you know? That would have been cool. No, I, actually, I could highly consider putting Perrier in, but then it just, you know, it's not that fancy. So we're gonna head back. Shout out to this harmless coconut water because it's fire. Thank you. And uh, we're gonna fill her up. We're gonna try to figure out how to not have bubbles in my cooling system. Uh, we're gonna start it up, breaking the cam, and send it. Where are we, where are we driving it to? I'm driving it to Japan. To Japan. <laughs> like, no, obviously. LA, but Come Japan on, Japan's cool. I'm so scared. I'm anxious for you, dude. I'm just gonna just, just crank me, it. Just let me know when so I can video it over there. Give me like, you do it? I think I'm just gonna crank it. I'm gonna crank for like three seconds, unless it just doesn't crank, we'll see. <sighs> Holy shit. Whoa! That was a crank. That wasn't three seconds. I got scared. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna crank it again. I'm gonna do it a couple more times and then I'll probably start it. Okay, you can do it again. It's not gonna be bad. I know. I'm just gotta let it. Let the, let the oil. Oh my god! I'm gonna throw up. I don't know what's going on. Oh my god! I can't see. I think I'm gonna throw Wait, up. Wait, the access port reads oil pressure, doesn't it? Um, no. No. Oh. I'm gonna crank it again. Hopefully, there's oil flowing places. You know? <laughs> How does it look out there? It's not a pressurized oil system, right? What do you mean, not a pressurized oil system? There's no pressure tank for the oil. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. No, I just you just like fill up like the oil pump with Vaseline, make sure there's no oil in it, sandwich it together, and then you have to go through like this cranking procedure until this light diminishes, and then you have sufficient oil pressure to start it. So, I, we know it's timed, you know. Send it. Well, hopefully she starts. I'm gonna do it. Mm. Can something blow up or catch up fire? No. Don't turn him on that. He's already worried about. Ready? Alright. You're still scared. I don't know if I've talked for the past like two minutes, but it's on. I have a check engine light blinking. Everything seems to be working. I don't, I don't know. Run 10 to 20. So then minutes 10, 10 to 20, I have to go between 1500 and 4000 RPM with gradual variation. So that's what I have to do once this timer is up. Then I have to start ramping the RPM up and down. So, what just happened, dude? What just happened? What do you mean? Did it started it and it ran. It ran? I'm so happy. I don't know what to do. We gotta drain the oil, put in new fresh oil. I'm gonna inspect what the oil looks like. I feel like I'm dreaming. It's a little hot and steamy in here. The temp stayed normal. I mean, it didn't, whatever you guys did, I think it worked. Um, yeah, I don't know what everyone else is thinking that's like watching this video, but the car started, I never went outside of the car to actually look what's going down. Oh God, maybe not do that, maybe not do that. Um, so now I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit. I'm gonna inspect everything. I'm going to drain the oil, put fresh oil in. I'm just gonna follow the procedure and we'll go on from there. We had to set the lighting, put little World Rally blue lights up just for this moment. If you guys didn't skip ahead, you stayed till the end throughout the whole thing and you watched the process of me going through, actually starting it up. I hope this video like kind of like built suspense as far as uh, the whole build up of it actually turning on. I don't know until I rewatch the footage. I'm pretty sure I didn't talk for 11 minutes straight. 
Once it turned on, I got super serious. Just trying to focus on like listening to things, seeing things, and it was just, it was a moment like no other. Anyway, so what I just did now, is you can see my air tank right there. Um, it was hanging uh, because I had to expose the fuel pump. Uh, well, I changed the fuel pump, so I left everything hanging there. So I just bolted everything back up, and now I don't know, I'm pretty sure when you unhook your bags, you have to recalibrate them. I'm gonna go through that procedure right now, so we'll see what's good. So I got a battery charger hooked up. My compressor should start running because I hooked up my bags now. So we'll see. There's fuel pump. My bags are coming on now. And now it's starting to fill. We'll see if the, the tank still holds air. It's building pressure now. We'll see how it goes. I'll check in with you guys in just a minute. All right, boys. I think this is the last look you guys are gonna get. My tank fully saved everything. Oh, not my tank. My air system remembered everything. Even though I unplugged it, I didn't know it was going to. I remembered all my presets. The tank is full and is not losing air. And we got the tails, baby. I bought these tails probably seven months ago or so. Like, right when I took the engine out. And I was just trusting the guy that they were working because obviously they have not been installed and tested. But now they are on. I got my tank all back together. Looking good. Got that thing all mounted up. I think I'm going to leave it exposed because it looks pretty badass like that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yep. Oh, hold on. Let me see if my halos still work. They should. Hello. They should. Tommy's here. Huge help today. So, lights on. Are my halos on is my only question. They are not. <laughs> one is on. One is not. Shit. That's, That's depressing. No, I know the problem. I think this came apart down here. I can figure that out. I'll just go one. It's like I'm blinking, you know? Just like I'm blinking. It's like a freaking Audi out here. It is alive and well. I think I'm just going to go ahead and change my oil. Get it ready for tomorrow. I don't know when my next video will be. I don't know if it's either going to be tomorrow or the following day, depending on how tomorrow goes. Um, but the first drive video should be out fairly soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. Drop a like if you like this video. I've never said that. It's trying to be different, you know? 2K18 Alex. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.